future for me, you gotta be the best. Tap in, tap in, best podcast in the Carolinas. E.T. Air Trillet. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. North and South. I look up in the sky and I can spot my own ribbon. Yeah, I'm bumping Stevie while I'm when I'm trying to see the vision. I look amongst my kids and all I see is more division. Yeah, I'm trying to pay you. You got more dollars on some bad shit. I need it. Hell no. Hell no. Don't ask me for no money. You hear the goddamn shit? Yeah. Hey, let me get a cup right quick. I want some of Trilly shit, man. Hey, <laughs> I, I told y'all it take me a lot to get fucked up. My grandma used to drink. I think it's in my blood. But nah, that's too big. That's too big, T. Let me get one of them small cups. Get one of them small cups right quick, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you, man. Hey, best podcast in the Carolinas, no offense, South. I'm going to keep it real professional right quick. You hear me? All right, appreciate y'all tuning in. A Dub, I appreciate you staying. All right, tap in, tap in. All right. All I say, you ask me for twenty dollars, just ask me for a hundred. Ask me for twenty thousand, so I can have a reason to say no. No, that's right. Ain't that right, Cuz? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, tap in, man. Best podcast. I got big managers in the building. I got big artists in the building. Music directors, A Dub, Miss Liv, my boy A One Bundy. Hey man, get that vibe going, Bundy. Appreciate you sliding through, boy. I think you were coming, man. Hey man, I appreciate you sliding through the podcast, man. I always say it's a domino effect. If I can interview one person, it'll fall on the next. I appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Hip Hop Mag, Sports Betters Media. All right. Shit, man. We about to get nasty up in this motherfucker, man. Let me hear a little bit more, man. Eric Trillet, man. Tell him where you from, Trillet. Salisbury. But it's Salisbury. East Spencer. Yeah. East Side. East Spencer. Hey, teach Al, man. I don't know. He knows it's a difference. He, he, he <laughs> nah, ain't no wrong with that. Ain't no he wrong with that, man. A-Dub know it's a difference. All right. A-Dub in the building, man. Salisbury, man. That's real country, man. Real country right there. All right. Y'all ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, man. The dream, man. All right. A-King, the dream. Y'all ready to go, man. Look, they like, man, how this nigga going to do when he drinking? How he going to do? That's when I perform my best. All right, tap in, man. Y'all ready to go? All right, tap in, man. This is Sports Brothers Media. I am Hip Hop Mag, C11 Studios. Got a special guest in the building tonight. One time, Salisbury's on East Side, Eric Trilly. Hey, man, we appreciate you sliding through, man. Best podcast in the Carolinas, North and South. You hit me. All right. I know I said it already. Trilly, let them know where you're from and what area code you're repping, Jack. From uh, Salisbury, uh, by way of East Spencer, North Carolina, repping the 704. You know what I'm saying? But all right with the 919. I love being up here. All right, man. 704 to the 919, Carolinas, Carolina. You hit me. All right. Anybody you want to give a shout out to before we get started? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my son. Mm. He's gonna be one next month. Mm-hmm. Uh, my boy Bundy for pulling up. Uh, G and Coolest Pride and all the rest of the team that couldn't be here tonight. So. All right, all right. You heard it here first, man. The whole camp, man. The whole fam, man. Tap in. All right. Let the viewers and the fans know why the name Eric Trilly. Uh, the name came uh, organically, but I had a couple different names when I first started out. Seriously, 
wanted to rap, it was Bobby Swisher at first. When me and Al first started rapping at LC with Bunny. Wow. So it was Bobby Swisher at first. So I'm going to keep it short, but it's a long version, basically. I wanted to name a mixtape Trill Armstrong after Neil Armstrong. Wow. So he was like, bro, that's your name. Like, fuck it, the mixtape. Like, that shit hard, bro. Yeah. It was Trill Armstrong, Trilly Stuff. I dropped the Armstrong and put my first name, Eric, there. All right, man. Eric Trilly in the building, man. Tap in, man. Keep it authentic. Keep it original. Yes, sir. All right. Eric Trilly, why this game called rap? Choose it, it just happened. Mm. Um, it sound like some Italian mob shit. <laughs> 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 trying to okay. sound cool, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it definitely sound cool. It, what happened? What it does. So what happened was. <laughs> Right. Preschool, really. Kitty Land kindergarten. That's right. It's like the preschool, you feel me? So Yeah. Uh but you know, when I got to college, bro, to be honest, it's how it all come together. I was a freshman. I was a freshman. I seen this nigga perform at homecoming. I was like, who the fuck is this nigga? Okay. He killed everybody, you feel me? Mm. And that made me for some reason, bro, because I'm not even this type of person, I just approached him. We should do something. And for some reason, he listened. And he heard me rap, and he was like, yeah. And then from then on, bro, like 2011 to where we at now, we have just been grinding, bro. That's from it. From the college dorm to where we doing now. That's it, man. Let the viewers know what college y'all boys went to, man. Livingstone College, man. Hey. Okay. okay. Big Livingstone. That's what it do, man. All right, tap in, tap in, man. I had another uh, athlete. He came from Livingstone right behind Roger you, man. Ray over there, man. Motherfucker Roger Ray. I remember, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Look, bro, with the dreads, bro. He used to go off double forward, bro. Them niggas was yeah. Roger Ray. Yeah, Roger Ray, bro. He used to come in. You know, you know, bro. I'm going to show it to you after the shit, bro. But yeah. All right. Hey, man, sports and hip-hop, man, it's a part of our culture, all right? <coughs> Tap in, man. Eric Trilly in the building, best podcast, North and South. Uh, who inspired you growing up as far as rappers? As far as rappers? Uh, it's a lot. It's not just rap with me. You know what I'm saying? I grew yeah. up in the, uh, my grandmother was like the minister of music for churches. Like, so wow. I grew up in... Like, she a classically trained pianist, like, on the album, Pandemic Swamp. Uh, she's on a lot of the interludes. Good. Because she was, like, the person that introduced music to me, period. Yeah. Like, before rap, before I even knew what rap was, I just knew I liked music. That's right. So, um, it start with that, but then I grew up in the house with different influences. Like, my mama listened to, like, New Edition and LL Cool J. MC Hammer and shit like that. Mm. My uncle, he listened to like Cool Mo D, uh, Cool G Rap, um, Lenny Kravitz, and fucking Nirvana. He listened to everything. Yeah. Whereas my aunt, she listened to Whitney Houston and Come on, Brandy man. and all that shit. So I grew up around all that shit, bro. And Music was, was in your blood. It was just there. You right. Feel me? Like, I, like I say, it just happened, bro. Like, wow. Because those words turned into rhymes, and I already knew. Mm-hmm. So the ear for beats gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell people it's not about it just happening, but it was always meant for you. Yeah, like it was it's destiny, bro. If I even if I'm not supposed to make it be whatever the fuck, I know I'm supposed to be making music, bro. Right. Like I know I gotta do it. Yeah. So any other way, bro. I'm, like I wouldn't be doing shit else. Hey man, y'all give it up one time for E. T. Eric Trip. That's what's up, boy.